Welcome to the School Therapy Occupational Therapy video series. In this video, we will focus on the importance of hand strength in children and strategies to improve their strength. Hand strength is how strong the muscles are in our hands and fingers and is extremely important in how children function every day at school and at home. As children grow, the strength in their hands and fingers increases when they participate in everyday activities, such as climbing monkey bars, playing with toys, using markers and crayons, or holding a hockey stick. Good hand strength is extremely important for children to function in school. Grasping a pencil and being able to print for long periods of time requires a lot of hand strength. Opening lunch containers, playing musical instruments, or playing sports and physical education class also requires a lot of hand strength. Children who have weak hand strength often struggle in school. For example, some children may not be able to completely color a picture because their hand gets tired. As a result, they may switch to coloring with their other hand. In this case, neither hand develops the strength required to complete the task. Other examples of weak hand strength include switching hands when using scissors, not being able to open containers, not putting enough pressure on the pencil when printing or erasing, and avoiding climbing structures or monkey bars on the playground. As well, there has been an increase in the use of technology over the past few years, and as a result, children tend to have weaker hand strength from using technology rather than participating in everyday hand strengthening opportunities. The Journal of Physical Therapy Science published a study in January of 2020 indicating that high levels of smartphone usage decreased hand strengths in the dominant hands of children. There are tons of creative and playful activities for children that can target hand strength. Here is a list of fun ideas for getting those hands and fingers into shape. First and most importantly, play. Playing inside or outside will help to strengthen hands and here are some fun ideas. Digging in a sandbox or in dirt piles, hanging from monkey bars, drawing with sidewalk chalk, climbing up ladders and other playground equipment, pulling weeds or using a shovel while gardening, or pulling or pushing a wagon. Here are some other more specific activities to improve hand strength in your child. Playing with Play-Doh or putty is one of the best hand strengtheners. Have your child roll out Play-Doh with their hands, cut Play-Doh with scissors, use cookie cutters to make shapes, or hide small objects in the Play-Doh to find. Using scissors to cut heavier materials such as cardstock, cardboard, sandpaper, paper towel rolls, index or playing cards will also help with strengthening. Have your child use a spray bottle to water plants or squirt balloons to keep in the air. You can also add food coloring and spray colored water onto paper, snow, or the sidewalk. Make sure your child uses their thumb and first two fingers to squeeze the handle. Have your child color pictures or draw pictures using broken crayons, smaller size markers, or other items such as paintbrushes or bingo markers. For older children, some other activities are Using an elastic, have your child place the elastic around the knuckles of one hand. Have your child open and close their hands slowly, keeping the elastic in place. Make sure to use an elastic that is tight, as this gives more resistance. Using a small ball, have your child use only their fingers to roll the ball up one leg and down the other leg. Have your child start at their toes and roll the ball up one leg, across their stomach, and down the other leg. This is a great hand strengthener as well as strengthening the forearms. Play paper basketball. Tear a piece of paper, then scrunch the paper into a small ball using only one hand. Once the ball is small enough, toss it into a basket for points. You could start with tissue paper, then regular loose leaf, and increase the challenge using construction paper. If you would like more information, please contact your school-based occupational therapist from your family of schools.